So I'm making a video that was inspired by a video that was inspired by a video I made that was also inspired by another video made by somebody else. Confused? Well, yeah, maybe I am as well. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to welcome back to my channel Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark. And today I'm going to do a tag for you. It's the Booktube Newbie 2.0 tag. And let me just explain this because you might be thinking, haven't you done something similar to that? And yes, I did in my last video, celebrating 500 videos. But what I did in that video was I just went back and redid the Booktube newbie tag. I didn't realize, even though I joked and said this is like Booktube newbie tag 2.0, I didn't realize there actually is a tag. Uh, called the booktube uh, newbie tag or the booktube newbie 2.0 tag now that came about because Aaron Facer please go and check out his channel he's wonderful uh, was inspired by that video I made celebrating 500 videos and he being clever you know young and things coming to his head faster actually searched and found this tag so I thought I might as well do it and it's different enough it's different enough that I can do it without kind of really repeating myself uh, from having done the original newbie tag in my last video. And the reason I thought I'd do all this again in kind of celebration of 500 videos and um, you know to reflect on on on, on those videos and, and the time I've spent on YouTube is because I watched a live or no, it wasn't a live sorry but it was a, a conversation between uh, the wonderful uh, Randy Ray and the wonderful-ish <laughs> Steve Donahue. only joking Steve we love you really um, and uh, they were talking how you know it's a shame that you know maybe more established booktubers don't kind of revisit uh, you know the booktube newbie tag after they've been doing it for a while and I, so I thought I'll do that Aaron Aaron saw the video and he was like oh yeah that seems nice thank you Aaron for your lovely comment um, and so he went ahead and did this one, and I thought, oh, no, I'm missing a trick. And now I'm just rambling on and on. So let's jump into the tag, the Booktube Newbie 2.0 tag. It has 11 questions. Now, Aaron added three questions from the Booktube Newbie tag. I'm not going to do that because you can go back if you want and watch the video before this one, which is celebrating 500 videos. What? Um, so let's jump in. Right. Uh, by the way, I should say uh, the original creator, I believe, according to Aaron, is Michael Deutsch. So Michael... I hope Aaron said your name right because I just copied his video to say that. So if you happen to watch it, there we go. So uh, question one, uh, what genres would you like to see talked about more on BookTube? Nonfiction, nonfiction and travel writing, travel literature, uh, maybe short stories, essays, things like that. But definitely, I think nonfiction I would like to see more of on BookTube. Um, yeah. And I'm going to do my best to kind of add to what there is in the nonfiction field on Booktube. Uh, number two, what do you feel is the best way or ways to make friends on Booktube? Well, I think like in life is to just get involved with things. So when you start out, um, my suggestion to you, if you're a new Booktuber, is to just comment, 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 get people uh, knowing who you are, knowing what your channel is and join in reading events, comment about it, um, get a Voxer, join a Discord, put yourself out there. You're not going to make friends on Booktube if you just make the videos, don't comment on anybody else's uh, and that kind of thing. So really put yourself about a bit, you know. Uh, <laughs> I was going to make a, a, a joke there, but I'm not going to. Put yourself about a bit, let people know who you are, and then you'll be sure to make friends. It's a really friendly place, and you'll definitely find people with the same and similar uh, interests uh, to you. Uh, so that's my advice to you to make friends on BookTube. Number three, what do you enjoy the most about making BookTube videos? I enjoy fiddling around with things, you know, I mean, there's definitely been kind of an evolution with my videos where I had a full intro and then an outro and music and all this stuff. And then I just had outro music and uh, different things. I, I've tried to put on, as I've had, for example, recently, Patreon, I've stuck in like a placard. You'll see in the back, it might drive you mad. 
I don't know, but I'm trying it out. Uh, a kind of thank you message that's on a loop. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm sure a few people might complain, but I thought it's a nice way to show my appreciation to these wonderful people who have decided to support me. You know, and of course you can join them too. Link was down below. Um, but I think it's trying new things. Um, it's very hard to be original, but you can try things that are new or original to you, I think. Um, and it's kind of fun. I'm by no means an expert in editing or anything like that. So um, it's also taught me a bit about it, um, which has been which has been very interesting. Um, so yeah, th those are the aspects I think I enjoy most about making BookTube uh, videos. Number four, what do you least look forward to when making BookTube videos? I least look forward to editing, which I don't do much of, but sometimes I have to if I want to insert the cards. You see, that is part of the reason why, because I have to edit and it takes such a long time for the video to kind of reformat and, and whatever. And I, I just want to put it up there, right? So that's why I've cut the music and everything. I mean, not always, you know, sometimes I'll do it, but I'm pushed for time, especially now I'm back at work. So I want to avoid having to edit as much as possible. And something like the display in the background is helping me uh, to do that. Uh, but as I say, I'm sure some people will say, oh, it's so distracting. Well, just close your eyes and listen to my mellifluous voice and uh, that will be enough. You know, you don't have to look at me. <laughs> Face made for radio, right? So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would say maybe editing and uploading. I don't like the waiting around and the processing on, on YouTube. That kind of thing annoys me. But actually just getting ahead and doing it, no problems. Enjoy it. Enjoy it very much. Uh, number five, what videos other than tags, TBRs, wrap-ups, reviews, and recommendations would you want to see more of? Uh, well, that kind of almost covers everything, doesn't it? <laughs> um, what do I want to see more of? I do enjoy conversations. I enjoy the lives the, that I, for example, do with Sean D. Stanfast. I'm hopefully going to get back into that soon once Sean gets settled in his uh, living situation. Uh, I enjoy watching, for example, even that um, the conversation, even though it's pre-recorded, between uh, Steve Donahue and Randy L. Ray. Fantastic. Always nice to see booktubers uh, interact with each other and pull up, you know, some interesting conversation. You know, mostly around books, but it doesn't have to be. So those are the kind of things probably I would like to see more of. Um, I enjoy very much uh, shelf tours and... Uh, I noticed uh, Michael didn't mention book hauls. I do enjoy a good book haul as long as they're books that are of interest to me. So those kind of things I, I'm quite happy to see more of. Uh, what are some themes you uh, want to see more or less of? More of or less of? Oh, Elvis has his opinion. Uh, more of or less of in books? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not one for, um, you know, I, I want to see less of people trying to change the content of books. What is it, boulderizing or something like that, where they edit out things they believe uh, might cause offense to modern audiences. I, I don't agree with that. Um, you know, put a warning in, and if you're offended, don't read the book. Right. Or at least have two editions side by side so people who want to read the original can read the original. So that, that kind of thing I want to see less of. Uh, definitely people messing around with uh, with works, you know, once the author's passed. Or, yeah, obviously it's different, I think, if the author's living. But it's a whole debate people are, are getting into and I'm, I'm going to try and stay away from it, uh, obviously, in this video. But that kind of thing I want to see less of. Um and I don't know really, I don't read a huge amount of new books, so it's very hard for me uh, to say, uh, uh, to answer that question. You know, I, I would love to see more uh, of uh, things in, in, in Victorian or Edwardian or even Georgian uh, works, but, you know, we're not going to see any more uh, of those and that kind of stuff, sadly. Uh, so there we go. Uh, number seven, what are some of your booktube goals? Uh, well, I think I reached my booktube goal, really. I mean, the only goal I had when I set out was to try and reach a 1,000 subscribers, and I've exceeded that, uh, which has been great, and I'm extremely appreciative of it and of you guys for, um, you know, supporting me and, and getting me over the line. Um, and I think my goals are now just to 
chat about the books I read. You know, I'll probably do less and less tags unless something comes along that really grabs me. Um, and, you know, I do have some other channels now which I'm working on. One is book related, where I, I have a long form conversation with another booktuber generally. Um, it comes out once a month, Tales from the Quill. Uh, where we talk about that person's either favorite author or a particular author that interests them and their life and their works. And I've really been enjoying that. I've got, uh, I think, five so far, but three only three of them have been uploaded. So I'm, as I say, doing it monthly. Um, so that, I mean, that is related to it. So if you like, I'm trying to build a little book time with Elvis Network. There's a few other things in the pipeline um, which kind of go towards my uh, booktube goals, but might not be under this channel name specifically because I think, yeah, well, you'll see, you'll see eventually what I, what I mean. Uh, but I think in terms of this channel and the goals are just to, you know, try and keep people interested, of course, um, but without, you know, selling out too much at least, yeah. Um, I, you know, I, 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 I Maybe some people are not so happy that I, I started something like a, a Patreon, I don't know, but um, I wanted to, and if people were happy to, you know, kind of support me and uh, the channel and whatever, uh, then, you know, obviously I'm making content for that, so at least I'm trying to do something back, I'm not just saying, you know, give me all your money, <laughs> and it's just, you know, just to kind of make the... Uh, um, uh, you know, kind of like the hobby pay for itself because new books cost money, especially in my situation here being uh, in a non-English speaking country and, you know, having to get a lot of things new if I really want to get them, you know, I, I you know, um, so there we go. And I, I think, I don't know what the price of a cup of coffee a month isn't, isn't too bad. There's only one level. I haven't got different levels and this kind of stuff. So it's quite, um, what's the word? utilitarian is it right I don't know my goodness you see I've lived here so long I'm losing my English um <laughs> so yeah there we go uh so I guess my goals as I say are just to not necessarily grow the channel too much although of course it would be nice but you know with a higher growth it becomes harder to manage so you know maybe 2,000 maybe 2,000 would be nice I'd be happy at that I think um, it's a nice round number, something like that. Two thousand would be great, and then um, just keep keep it ticking over, you know. Because obviously, I think people who are subscribed, the bulk of them probably enjoy what I've been doing so far. So I'm going to carry on doing kind of the same thing. Um, number eight. What advice would you give to a booktuber that has just created their channel? Well, I think that circles back a little bit um, to number question number two, where I say get involved. <laughs> get involved um you know i did make a video i think about my trying to give advice to people who are starting out i mean i'm obviously no expert um but you know i've been 500 videos two and a half years uh you know i know little about it of course you know more than somebody who is just starting um and i think it is yeah literally get involved but don't get too over involved because you can burn out probably quite quickly don't release huge numbers of videos every day unless you're someone like Steve Donahue who's, who's already got that kind of established audience and people expect that of him but I think if you release more than one video per day I think that's detrimental it's better to schedule your videos throughout and, ha and try to be as regular as possible I failed in that myself due to obviously work commitments and life commitments and stuff so you know it's quite haphazard when my videos come out but then as I say I'm not looking to super build up to a massive audience I'm extremely happy uh, around the level I'm at um, and I think people know that I'll generally try and put out one or two uh, videos a week and if I don't if there's a few days where I don't I gen I will make every effort to at least put up a community post saying sorry everybody you know I've, I've got to take a break or you know things are crazy I've just got to step back for a, a week or two and you know people are wonderfully understanding about that I think it's when you just disappear I don't really think that's that's the best thing sometimes, but of course everybody has their reasons. So my advice would be post regularly, don't over post, get involved and comment, 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 comment. Subscribe to other newbies, get to know other newbies. It's always nice to get people who start around the same time as you are. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll get to know some of the bigger ones, you know, um, 
you know, I, I don't feel intimidated speaking with the likes of, uh, you know, Michael K. Vaughan, Steve Donahue or, uh, or criminally. Now, of course, they might be small to some of these massive ones, but I don't, I don't have, I don't watch a lot of those uh, big channels. I can't think of anyone bigger than criminally that I might watch, to be honest. So, you know, um, yeah, but I wouldn't have, I don't feel, you know, like I can't approach them. And of course, they're all very approachable people, but it's, it's nice to kind of get in with your class of that year, yeah. Um, uh, it helped in the fact that, you know, uh, Michael K. Vaughan and I started together, Criminali started a bit after me, um, and a few others, uh, Vin from Revenant Reed started around the same time as me. Um, Aaron Facer didn't start that long after me, actually, as well, or maybe it was slightly before, I can't remember, you know, it is two and a half years ago, but there was a great group of people who uh, started in and around the same time as I did, and, you know, make sure you go and search the BookTube newbie tag, set the filters, find out how recent it is, and then you'll know that person is around the same kind, kind of time as you, and if you like safety in numbers in entering the community, although there's nothing, nothing, of course, to be worried about, and you'll have a great time, but just join in, that's, that's the key. And don't worry, don't worry as well. <laughs> don't worry about your setup. You know, it might take time to be, feel comfortable with either, you know, books in the background. Sorry, it's that time of day when it, one of Elvis's en enemies is passing by. And remember, I don't want to edit, so you'll have to forgive me. Maybe you can see him in his... Uh... There. Hey Elvis! No, he's he doesn't want to listen to me. Hey Elvis, what are you doing? No, he seems far more interested in in terrorizing whoever's going past. But yeah, don't worry too much about the setup I think, or having expensive equipment. Try it first and see how you get on. Uh, so there you go. Uh, number nine, Elvis. Completely ignoring me. What are you doing? <laughs> so we could just sit here and, and wait for it to pass. I tell you what, I could do. I could pause it. Right? I can pause. Well, that went on for a while, although it won't seem like it to you, of course, because I paused the recording. Um, <laughs> but hopefully, he's he's stopped. He's decided to uh, to sit down now. And uh, yeah, yeah, you. That's who I'm talking to. Yeah. Um, he's decided to sit down now and be quiet. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Uh, but we've only got two left. Um, what are some qualities or traits that you look for when it comes to watching other booktubers? For me, it's um, similar reading interest. It doesn't have to be across the board. You know, I uh, many of us are very eclectic readers. Um, you know, somebody might read a lot of non-fiction but they also might read a lot of fantasy or science fiction which doesn't interest me but their reading of uh non-fiction will interest me so it's a, the, the, the common ground is something uh that interests me um how they come across on camera can of course have an impact um on on uh, something that i can find uh watchable uh, or that I appreciate. I mean, I, I don't, you know, another reason I don't like editing is because I don't really like to watch myself back, right? I don't like to hear my old, you know, uh, 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 and it's just one of those things, isn't it? But, um, you know, I don't mind it in other people, and you don't always notice it, maybe. It's like in a conversation, you don't generally notice it, I think, unless people keep saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, like I just did, and probably I've said it all the way through, and now I've now I've mentioned it, you'll probably be looking for it, right? So those are some things that are negatives, maybe, when, when it comes to um, stuff you find when you watch other booktubers. But generally, I think it's, you know, they come across as friendly, and that they have similar interests, and, and, and knowledgeable, or at least want to be knowledgeable about it. Now, it doesn't mean they have to be an expert in it. Of course, I'm, I'm not an expert in anything. But I think it helps when people at least can back up their opinions of things or, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I almost said it, or can 
put across better than I am uh, their their reasoning or you know argument or something like that, right? <laughs> Did that make any sense? I don't know. Uh, and number ten. Uh, what is a fun fact about you or a hobby besides reading and writing that people on BookTube might not know you have? Um, well, I do. I, well, I have another channel uh, called My Little House in Bohemia, uh, where I'm following the progress of the building of a house here in the Czech Republic. Uh, I think another fun fact is that I am British. I was born there, and out of my forty-three years, I've only been—I've only lived there twelve years. So that's something. And I guess another thing is I used to really enjoy the sport of rugby. I was never super good. Uh, I went to a big rugby playing school. I was at school with one or two rather famous uh, rugby players who played for England um, about twenty years ago. And um, I actually played briefly in the German Bundesliga for rugby. Now that sounds more impressive than it is because it's not quite the same as the football one, of course. But you know, I did spend uh, a year in Germany, and unfortunately, I got injured. I, I badly injured my eye. You can still see that there. Um, and I didn't play too many games, but uh, you know, I did uh, at least. Uh, you know, trot out in the in the German Bundesliga for rugby on, I think, four or five occasions, two or three occasions, a long time ago. Anyhow, uh, last one, which booktubers do you tag? Well, if you're watching this, I tag you. Yes, that's right, you there, you are tagged, go and do it. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.